Our next topic of discussion is trains. Before we solve questions in trains, we should understand few basic concepts. Let us say a train of length LT is crossing a stationary point. This is the first case I am talking about. Let us say a train of length LT is crossing a stationary point. Stationary point is nothing but electric pole, telegraphic pole or a man or a tree. All this come under stationary points so because distance is negligible. The distance is only a point here in case of man or a tree or electric or telegraphic pole the distance is only negligible distance is only a point. So, when the train is crossing a stationary point the distance covered is equal to the length of the train. Now, when a train is crossing a platform let us say train of length LT is crossing a platform of length let us say LP. Let us take this is the platform. The length of the platform is LP. A train is crossing this platform. The length of the train is LT. When will we say the train has crossed the platform? When the end point is crossing this point we will say that the crane has crossed the platform. It is starting here the first point of the train. We are saying this train is crossing here this point when the end point of the train is crossing this point. Here if you observe the distance of platform is not negligible. Here the distance covered is the train has to cover its own length plus it has to cover the length of the platform. So, the distance covered is length of the train plus length of the platform. Similarly, when we say train is crossing a bridge, the distance covered is equal to the length of the train plus length of the bridge. When the train is crossing a tunnel, the distance covered is nothing but length of the train plus length of the tunnel. It has to cover its own distance plus the train also should cover the length of the tunnel. So, it is LT plus LP that is length of the train plus length of the tunnel. Now, when two trains are crossing each other that is third case. Let us say the length of the trains is L1 first train and second train length is L2. When two trains are crossing the distance covered is nothing but L1 plus L2. The distance covered is L1 plus L2. Now, whether they are moving in same direction or moving in opposite direction it the distance will remain same distance covered is L1 plus L2 it has to cover its own distance plus it has to cover the distance of the second train. So, it will be L1 plus L2. So, these are the basic understand basic concepts of trains. When a train is crossing a stationary point distance covered is nothing but length of the train. When it is crossing a platform the distance covered is nothing but length of train plus length of platform. When two trains are crossing each other distance covered is nothing but sum of the lengths of both the trains that is L1 plus L2. Now, let us understand the concept of trains using few examples. A train 150 meters long is running at 72 kilometers per hour. Find the time it takes to pass a man standing on a platform. Now, in the question length of the train is 150 meters and speed of the train is 72 kilometers per hour. Let us convert into meters per second. Already we have seen this earlier to convert kilometers per hour into meters per second multiply by multiplication factor 5 by 18. So, speed of the train is 20 meters per second. Find the time taken to cross a man standing on a platform. So, man the distance covered is a stationary point when it is crossing a man the distance covered is nothing but the length of the train. So, time is equal to distance by speed. So, as it is crossing a man distance covered is nothing but length of the train by speed is 20 meters per second. On solving this time is equal to 7.5 seconds. Let us take next example. 
a 240 meter long train is running at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. In what time it will cross a person moving in the same direction at a speed of 6 kilometers per hour. So, length of the train is 240 meters and speed of the train is 60 kilometers per hour. Find the time taken to cross a man who is also moving in the same direction at a speed of 6 kilometers per hour. So, speed of man is given. So, man is not standing here. Man is also moving in the same direction. So, speed of the man is 6 kilometers per hour. Now, what is the question here? In what time it will cross the man? So, time is equal to distance by speed. Now, friends, train is moving in the same direction. Man is also moving in the same direction. Whenever there are two speeds, we have to calculate relative speed. When both of them are moving in the same direction, relative speed is the difference of the speeds. That is 60 minus 6 relative speed is 54 kilometers per hour. Convert into meters per second into 5 by 18. So, relative speed is nothing but 15 meters per second. Now, what time it will cross? Time is equal to distance by speed. So, train is crossing a man. So, man distance is negligible. So, distance covered is nothing but the length of the train 240 meters by relative speed. What is the relative speed? 15 meters per second. On solving this, we will get time as 16 seconds. Let us look at one more example. A train can cross 480 meter long platform in 1 minute 36 seconds, whereas it can cross a 540 meter long platform in 1 minute 40 seconds. What is the length of the train? Let us take or let us assume length of the train is equal to L and speed of the train let us take it as S. In the first case the train is crossing a platform. When the train is crossing a platform distance covered is nothing but length of the train plus length of the platform. So, distance is equal to speed into time. Now, distance here length of the train is L plus length of the platform is 480 is equal to speed into time speed into it has taken 1 minute 36 seconds. So, that is nothing but 1 minute is 60 seconds. So, S into 96 this is my first equation. Second in the second case the train is crossing 540 meter long platform. So, distance covered is length of the train plus length of the platform distance is equal to speed into time speed is s into it is taking 1 minute 40 seconds 1 minute is 60 seconds. So, 60 plus 40 it is taking 100 seconds. So, this is second equation on solving these two we get s is equal to 15 meters per second. If you know s substitute in first equation or substitute in second equation we can find length of the train. Length of the train is equal to 960 meters. Let us look at the alternate approach. Now, the train is crossing 480 meter long platform in 1 minute 30 seconds that is 96 seconds. Now, it is crossing 540 meter long platform in the second case in 1 minute 40 seconds that is 100 seconds. Now, see here friends, how can we solve this without writing equations? Now, 480 meter long platform it is taking 96 seconds, 540 meter long platform the train is taking 100 seconds. So, how many seconds extra train is taking here? 4 seconds extra. This 4 seconds extra is used to travel how many meters extra? 
here it is 480 meters in the second case 540 meters that is 60 meters extra so speed is 60 meters extra it is covering in 4 seconds 60 by 4 speed is 15 meters per second in the first case the train is traveling for 96 seconds so distance is equal to speed into time so 15 into 96 this is equal to it has traveled for 1440 meters that is the distance covered total 1440 meters in this 1440 meters it is crossing a platform of 480 meters so length of the platform is 480 meters if we subtract 480 the distance is 960 meters this 960 meters is nothing but the length of the train this is the other method to solve the question let us look at next example two trains of lengths 150 meter each take six seconds to cross each other when they are traveling in opposite directions and take 30 seconds to cross each other when they are traveling in same direction find the ratio of speed of the faster train to the slower train we need to find out the ratio of speed of faster train to slow train the lengths of the trains is 150 meters and 150 meters when two trains are moving distance covered is nothing but sum of the lengths of both the trains that is l1 plus l2 so 150 plus 150 the distance covered is 300 meters whether the trains are moving in same direction or they are moving in opposite direction distance covered is same 300 meters when distance covered is same we have discussed that formula is there s1 t1 is equal to s2 t2 now let us take the speed of faster train as sf and speed of slow train as ss now in both the cases whether they are traveling in same direction or opposite direction distance covered is same so when distance covered is same we can write s1 t1 is equal to s2 t2 they are taking 6 seconds when they are traveling in opposite direction. So, when two trains are traveling in opposite direction, there are two speeds here. Relative speed is nothing but sum of the speeds. SF plus SS into 6 seconds time. And they are taking 30 seconds when they are traveling in the same direction. When two trains are traveling in the same direction, relative speed is given by difference of the speeds. SF minus SS into time is 30 seconds. 6 goes 5 times here. Solving this, SF plus SS is equal to 5 SF minus 5 SS. 4 SF is equal to 6 SS. So, speed of faster train by speed of slower train is equal to 6 by 4 that is nothing but 3 by 2 this is the ratio of speed of faster train and slower train let us take next example a train leaves hyderabad for guntur at 6 am with a speed of 60 kilometers per hour another train leaves guntur for hyderabad at 8 am with a speed of 40 kilometers per hour if the distance between hyderabad and guntur is 420 kilometers then at what time do the two trains cross each other there are two stations here hyderabad and guntur the distance between hyderabad and guntur it is 420 kilometers given in the question the first train is traveling from Hyderabad to Guntur at 6 am with a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. So, the first train is traveling from Hyderabad to Guntur at 6 am in the morning with a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. The second train is traveling from Guntur towards Hyderabad with a speed of 40 kilometers per hour at 8 am now question is when do these two trains meet my second train is starting from guntur at 8 o'clock 
my first time has already started at 6 o'clock. So, by the time the second train starts, the first train would have already covered 2 hours journey. In 1 hour, it covers 60 kilometers. In 2 hours, it will cover 120 kilometers. So, first train will be somewhere here. It has already covered 120 kilometers. Total distance 420. This is 120. So, the rest of the distance is 300 kilometers. When the second train is starting from Guntur, my first train is here. It has already covered 120 kilometers. Now, let us say they meet at some point here. At what time these two trains meet? Time is equal to distance by speed. If these two trains have to meet, they have to cover a distance of 300 kilometers by speed. Here, we are having two speeds. So, we have to take relative speed. Both the trains are moving in opposite direction. So, relative speed is given by sum of the speeds. So, 60 plus 40, it is 100. So, they will meet after 3 hours. From when it is 3 hours, this is very important. It is not 3 hours from 6 o'clock, it is 3 hours from 8 o'clock. So, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, they will meet at 11 a.m.